Yeah, some relief here at Metro headquarters as a tricky $4.8 billion budget gets passed. Now, there are limited impacts to service, so certainly good news for a lot of riders, but there will be a fare increase, so let's break it all down for you. Metro's budget is approved, and the transit agency's goals largely get to stay on track. There's a great comeback story going on here, and I think uh, the Metro is the one of the key reasons to fuel this. GM Randy Clark says there will only be modest changes to service. The biggest impact to riders will be a fare increase. Let's take a look at how much more you'll be paying. Bus fares and base rail fares increase from $2 to $2.25. The max rail fare increases from $6 to $6.75. Late night and weekend fares rise from a flat $2 fee to between $2.25 and $2.50 based on distance. Despite the added cost, riders like Noah Hines are grateful that service levels will pretty much stay the same. Yeah, I use it all the time. Um, I use it to go to work, um, so I try to um, use the metro when I'm going all sorts of places. Now, there is a major issue. This budget getting solved only fixes the next fiscal year. There will be budget gaps going forward unless metro can find a sustainable, dedicated source of funding like a sales tax or a gas tax. Metro Board Chair Paul Smedberg says the region's leaders are getting tired of having to find more money for Metro every year, just like they did this year. This whole idea of having a dedicated stream of funding, whatever it looks like, whether it's one regional thing or three different things that go into a pot, you know, whatever it is, they understand we can't continue to do this. Important to note here, changes to fares won't take effect until July 1st at Metro headquarters. Adam Tuss, News 4. The first of its kind meeting between the Metro Board and the region's Council of Governments to talk about funding Metro is expected to happen on May 1st.